Casilda P. Venus Elementary School, Malipayon, San Emmanuel, Tacoron City. We will have our debate in my grade 6 class. The topic for our debate is that homework should be banned. So we have here the affirmative theme, the negative theme in this side, and at the, at the back are the options. So we will start our debate first from the affirmative theme. Good morning, Madam Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. The topic for our debate is that homework should be banned. Homework is an activity to further a investigate about a particular topic and look into it more. When we say that, it will not, it will not into practice or, or will not be employed. We, the affirmative team, believes that this statement is true. A, as a first speaker, I will, I will be talking to you about the number of homework to be done. Our third speaker will sum up our teachings. Next, for the, the Madam Chairman for the negative team. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. The topic for our debate is that homework will be bad. We agree with the definitions given by the affirmative team. However, we, the negative team, opposes to this to this statement. First speaker for the affirmative team. The first speaker. The first speaker tries to tell that assignment develops study habit. It is contrary instead the task to do. That said assignment is passed to parents or other family members. Thus the reality about it, not study habit, is being developed, but the dependence of pupils to parents. Can you say something? Mr. Chairman, my point is the number of homeworks to be done. In our grade level, we we have eight subjects. If all of subjects have seven, it's too much. We no longer have time for rest. This will make us inattentive the next class day because we are a lack of sleep. Besides. Due to many written words, this makes us great and tired. Okay. Yes, for the first speaker in the negative team. As a first speaker of our team, I would like to point on the number of assignments given. First, not all the time that all subjects have assignments. Second, if ever there are many assignments, we can do it during our free time, like on lunch time or after class in the afternoon. In this way, only few assignments left to be done at home. This develops also our time management and sense of responsibility. Yes, Madam Chairman, can you say something about your first speaker? As a first speaker, I would like to point out that the assignment only develop our study habit in learning for the day. The learned concept on the topic is lasting because we are engaged to discover more about the topic. Yes, for the second speaker of the affirmative team, you just stay in your place. The second speaker says less that assignment is education Educational bonding, bonding time. I disagree because the pupils are tired of lo lo loaded written, written works and is stressed, stressed 
saying? The second point of our is that reliability as to who does our assignment, it is useless to walk assignments wherein those assignments are done by our parents and other family members because of their concern to us. Yes, for the second speaker of the negative scene. <laughs> the second speaker of affirmative side tries to tell the reliability as to who does our assignment. If our parents really want us to learn, they will just simply assist and guide us to do our assignment. This also gives it time to share and or ideas with one another. With this, we learn from each other. Can you say, Madam Chairman? For our second point, assignment is educational bonding time of a family. After the busy day, we get to keep in touch with our parents and other family members because we ask for their assistance for our assignment. With this, we share experiences and ideas which broaden our points of view. And for the last speaker of the affirmative team, to sum up, a talent does not develop a study habit and independence of focus. So parents, a talent does not serve as a opportunity for educational bonding time due to the listlessness of focus. Watching television or casual conversation while on dining table is preferable for the reason that this is more natural and stress free. Thus, a silent should not be employed. Okay, yes, Mr. Chairman. So, how are you going now to conclude your team? So, in conclusion, our team believes that a silent should not be employed anymore as it does not achieve its purpose and it makes the people routine monotonous. As the saying goes, all work, no play makes the person down. Thank you. How about for the last speaker in the negative thing? What can you say? In conclusion, assignment help us develop our sense of responsibility and time. Management will be done intellectually with with our family with this. We are not favored that homework should be done. Instead, it should be employed. Thank you. Okay, how about for the conclusion of Madam Chairman for the negative team? To sum up, assignment should not be bad because of the virtual and intellectual benefit we can get from it. Through doing assignment, it strengthens our healthy family relationship and there is new learning from each other. So that's the end of our debate. Clap your hands. Congratulations for the job well done. For the, for the affirmative team, we have the Mr. Chairman. Stand up, please. Represented by John Paul C. For, C. Pornea. Next, for the first speaker of the affirmative team, represented by Christine G. Fagureles. For the second speaker of the affirmative team, represented by John Prell M. Liparba. And for the last speaker of the affirmative team, represented by Giselle Marie L. Tamoy. Remain standing. So let's clap our hands for the affirmative team. Yes. I am proud also to represent the team for the negative. Uh, we, to start with, with Madam Chairman, represented by Christine Joy E. Shubal. The first speaker, represented by Carol E. Garce. For our second speaker, represented by Leia Marie F. Canaba. And for the last speaker of the negative team, represented by Francis Ryan Gill C. Palmares. Let's clap our hands. And for our audience, we are there at the back, represented by Jaybert B. Dumanla, Rogin B. Gascon, and Jason C. Keryunes. They are our audience. So, if
in conclusion, so who is now in favor? Are you in favor that homework should be banned? Who is in favor that homework should be banned? <coughs> Nobody? Who is in favor in the affirmative team? You are not in favor that assignment should be banned? How about for the negative team? Who is in favor? So majority. So you are in favor with the what team? Negative. Okay. Why? Yes, Christy Joy. You are going to review your conclusion. Go back to your conclusion. Stand up, Madam Chairman. What is your conclusion there? Because you are, you are not, you don't want the assignment or homework should not be employed. Yes, microphone, please. Conclusion, assignments help us develop our sense of responsibility and time management while we bond intellectually with our family. With this, we are not favored that homework should be bond. Instead, it should be employed. Thank you. Okay. And how are you going to sum up? So sum it up. Please use microphone. So again, by the way, assignments help us develop our sense of responsibility and time management where we bond intellectually with our family, not only our family, other members of our family. So with this, we are not, they are not in favor that homework should be banned. Instead, it should be employed. Yes, in conclusion, uh, in, to sum it up, how are, you going, how are you going to sum it up? To sum up, assignment should not be bad because of the worthwhile and intellectual benefit we can get from it. Through doing assignments, it strengthens our healthy family relationship and there is new learning from each other. Okay, if we have an assignment, there is new learning from each other. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so assignment should not be banned because of the worthwhile and intellectual benefit we can get from it. Aside from that, through doing our assignment, it strengthens our healthy and family relationship. And there is new learning, of course, from each other. So once again, my warmest congratulations for your active participation. Let's give yourselves a yes clap. Go! One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes! Drum roll! Okay, congratulations. Let's give yourselves also a congratulations clap. One thousand. Go! One thousand. Two thousand. Three thousand. Four thousand. Congratulations! Everybody stand up. Give yourselves a congratulations clap because you really deserve for it. Ready? One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. 